Okay, so, so I found some really cool stuff that you can do with OpenShift V3. And so I'm going to do a quick demo of uh, what can be done. So I've deployed here. I've got uh, a OpenShift V3 master with two nodes. Um, that's mostly going to be transparent, but that's what I've got running in the background. And then this is the master node web console. So we can come in here and uh, do a new project. And then we can, uh, it comes preloaded with uh, some uh, application templates here. I'm going to do a basic PHP demo. Um, so I'm going to use the PHP builder here. And it's going to ask me for a name. And uh, I've got this uh, <laughs> extremely simple PHP application, if you even want to call it that. Um, basically, it just says hello world and says get host name. And that guess host name will be interesting to show the replication controllers later on and uh, rolling out automatically rolling out new versions. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to name my application this and we will get the URL here. All right. And there's a lot of deployment options if you expand this down, but they're opinionated and really you want, want those. So. I say, okay, and it says my application is being created. Um, it gives you a couple of ways to manage the project from the command line. You can do it from this web console, although there's not feature parity. You can, there's some things that you can only do from the, from the OC command line. And then this is also really cool. You can install this web hook in your GitHub repository and then get, uh, whenever someone, whenever you push to your GitHub repository, it will automatically rebuild your application in OpenShift and then do a rolling deployment of the new version. And I'm gonna show how you can do that. So I'm gonna grab this web hook here, go into uh, my app, my uh, GitHub account under the repository, go to settings, web hooks, and then say add a web hook. And then here, paste that URL here. Um, Then for me, that, that's an internal address to access it from the outside to do that. Uh, because I'm using a self-signed cert, I wanted to I want to disable SSL verification because it's not going to be able to verify my cert, which is fine for the demo. We have all that. All right. So add the webhook, and then let's see. See, yes, so it, 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 what it will do is it does like a webhook ping and there should be a, a green check mark right here if the webhook was able to contact the endpoint successfully. So now we can go in here, we'll go look at my project and you can see that it, it built my Hello World project. It's got one pod in it right now and uh, just to see how that looks like from the topology, um, so we've got the replication controller, which is ensuring that at least one ver at least one instance of the application is running. We have a service which basically load balances in front of all of the pods that are offering that service, and then we've got a route which makes it external, uh, exter externally accessible, so accessible from outside the pod cluster. And if we go to this address. Hopefully this will work. It does. So here's our hello you know, from, and then this is the container that is serving up our application right now. And we can refresh it a few times. And because there's only one pod, it's only going to ever return one host name here. However, um, I'm going to go in here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to get that URL in a loop. Um, to show some of the cooler aspects here. So if I go into the overview and I say I need to scale up my application, I can just hit that button, two pods. Now there's two. If you go into the overview, you can see that now there are two pods here behind the service. And so the service is a virtual cluster IP there that load balances between these two actual 
uh, things. You can see that th uh, this pod here is running on node one. This pod is running on node two. If we come over here and check this, now we're bouncing between two different uh, containers that are two, two different pods that are serving this application. And by the same token, if we go back to overview, oh, I'm in overview, of course, and scale it down, and it's just going to kill off one of those pods. You come here, one of those, now there's just one pod. So there's no uh, high availability, but the one on node two is still running. And there was no disruption. You can see the, the last bit of the output from that old pod running off the end of the screen there, but now there's only one. Now, if we go um, into, say, our repository and uh, say, hello world, v2. All right, so that's the difference. And I commit that. And we'll do a git push. And I'm going to get to the overview page here so we can watch this happen. So cool. Push that. Now there's our webhook firing and you'll see that there's a new new version of the source upstream and it's pulling that, uh, that source down into a container and building it into an image that can be redeployed. So now it there's the new version scaled up to one pod, scaled out the old version. And now if we go here, we got Hello World V2. So that is awesome.